Hey you guys, it's Chloe, and today I am so, so excited. I can't even stand it because we're going to be setting up one of my new binders with some new cash envelopes. Oh my goodness, I've been just dying to do this video because I ordered these envelopes a month ago as well as I ordered some other envelopes from a different Etsy shop and I still have not had them shipped out. So I was planning to do basically a whole new binder setup and I cannot do that. And I honestly just could not wait any longer to not set up at least the envelopes that I have now. So leave me a comment if you wanna see another binder setup video as well for when I get those other envelopes. The other envelopes are gonna be going towards my personal savings binder. So what I'm doing now is I'm having a sinking funds binder, personal sinking funds and savings, um, and then a savings challenge binder, and then obviously my cash wallet. So let me grab the binders and show you guys what's going on. Okay, so this beautiful black A6 binder is from, I think it, you say Zuninga Press. I will list the Etsy shop below. This is my first time purchasing from them. Um, it's this like textured, I don't know if that's snake print or what, but it's in black and I just thought this was so cute. This one I'm gonna be using for my personal sinking funds. So this is what it looks like inside. I already stuck something in there. Um, this little freebie that came with it. But it actually, this would be a really nice wallet if I were to use an A6 size, but I don't like using a wallet this big. But I mean, look, it has all of these pockets. It's like very, very nice. Um, it has a zipper for coins, a area on the back, and then it has the silver six rings. So this is the binder that I cannot set up today. I'm waiting for those other envelopes to come in the mail. So let me know if you wanna see this binder get set up or are you fine with just seeing what's inside once I start cash stuffing with it? Okay, this next one, I ordered a Moterm. Oh my gosh, I am just in love with these binders and all of my colors that I was in love with were sold out and I signed up for the notifications when they were stocked and I got notified and I hopped right on it. <clears throat> so let's pull this bad boy out. So here it is, this A6 binder in taupe. It is super soft and it did come with this fly leaf as well, which I do not know if I'll be using at the moment but it did come with this. So opening it up, it is gorgeous. Once again, this could be used as a wallet because it has all of these pockets, these slips, coin collector. Um, and what I really like about Moterm especially is that the rings are a little bit larger than typically your regular six ring is. So this one is gonna be used for my sinking funds because I have a lot more categories than I did before. So I figured this would be the best binder to really hold all of my sinking funds. Okay, I am so excited to start getting these set up. But let me set this to the side. Oh, they're just so pretty together. So these envelopes are from Trains Plans. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not positive. Once again, it'll be linked below. Her Etsy shop is a different name than her social media, so that did confuse me at first, but her shop opened up and I had to just jump in because all of her envelopes are really beautiful. So I wanted to do a different style. So this is that laminated um, with the cursive font and I chose the nude color. They're different. There are different color options for this part of the envelope. I went with laminated because my current sinking funds are already warping and I've only had them since November of last year. Now, that is nothing against the shop. Her quality is amazing. It's literally just something that happens when you have vellum and it can happen because of temperature and it can just happen over time. It just doesn't like hold the lamination as well, I think, something like that. I don't know, I don't create envelopes. so. It's just my personal preference because I know sinking funds, I feel like I'm in and out of a lot. I would prefer to do the laminated. So that's what we're doing. 
I think what I'm gonna do is start setting it up and I'll kind of explain each category as I go. Also, I did get these dashboards from the Fancy Dollar and they are so pretty. So I'm gonna use these as dividers in this binder. We'll see how full it is, but I think I can put both in here. So we're gonna start with low priority in the back. Okay, first one here is wedding. I am not engaged. <laughs> However, me and my boyfriend are very serious and we've talked about getting married. Anyways, I know it's expensive, so I just wanted to have this envelope so I could stuff it here or there, but it's not priority because obviously I'm not engaged. Next we have baby. I'm not pregnant, <laughs> but it's the same idea. We want to have a baby, so I want to start saving because it's kind of like manifesting at the same time. And when I say low priority, I just mean like it's not at the forefront and needs to be saved right away. If I was pregnant, this would be more high priority. I'm also putting back here a month ahead because I'm not going to be stuffing this until I actually can reach my 1k goal for my emergency fund. So that's my first goal. I'm also putting back here new home. Um, that's something we want to save for eventually, but it's not at the forefront photos um, just to save up for any photo shoot we want to do as a family we have not done one yet so I wanted to have this category Costco it's like a Sam I don't know if everyone has like Costco it's like a Sam's Club it's a membership only kind of grocery store I guess with really good discounts and everything um, so there is like an annual fee and then also I think I could use this to save for we want to do like a bulk meat shopping trip or something like that. I haven't really decided yet. Boy toys. So Elias wants to start cash stuffing. Um, he's kind of letting me take a handle of it. So this will be for his, you know, basically personal spending is fun money, whatever he wants to use this for. We then have travel and we have home upgrade. So this is for, this could be for like decor, but it's also mostly for like appliances, um, bed sheets, things that we need for the home. So I think that should be my low priority. Now let's get into high priority. So I have Invisalign. I do want to get Invisalign. I haven't had a consultation or anything yet. Um, I would like, I just paid off my care credit, so I would not want to have to use a credit card. So I just have to see the cost, but if I can save ahead, that would be awesome. Or if they have some sort of payment plan, I'm not sure yet. Taxes, birthdays. I finally got a birthday envelope. I think this is really important so that I can save ahead. Adventures, this is for dates for me and Elias, or you know, if I want to go out with friends or something, I want to save up for that. So Elias has his own car envelope now. He has a Hyundai. And of course, we can't forget my Jeep. Medical. This is for any medicine, doctor visits, etc. Pet care for those fur babies. This is for vet visits, emergencies, saving up for a dog bed or something like that. And then last high priority is of course the emergency. Oh my goodness, I think this looks so pretty together. I'm so excited for these envelopes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab now my old sinking fund binder. Okay, so we have pet care. See, that looks so cute with the money, the little peekaboo. I love it. Okay, medical. Jeep. Emergency, this is in the front. I know, this is a little this is a little winky, but I'm just waiting for my placeholders to come in the mail. Tax 
boxes. I'm actually gonna add this one to this binder as well as these three. So this one is actually Elias's, some of his savings money I had set aside for him. And then moving, my envelope box is what is going towards moving, but if Elias wants to contribute, I haven't decided yet if I wanna use his income towards that envelope box or just do mine, I don't know yet. But I'm, I wanna have the envelope. And then Christmas, um, I know I have my holiday binder, but this might be good just to have so, I think I'm going to put this in the back. I'm going to put this one in the front for Elias. So, this is going to be just my savings challenge binder because right now it's so thick. So, I'm going to take out these for now. And I am obsessed with these envelopes. These are the Starlight from Breathe and Budget. I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but they're sparkly. So I think I'll definitely keep these. Um, if I ever wanna switch it up, I guess. But Home Upgrade does have some money in it. So let's flip to Home Upgrade. <laughs> Goodies is going to be one of my personal sinking funds envelopes. So for now, I'm gonna stick this one in the back. And then let's take this out of travel. And stick this one to travel. Okay, so this new sinking fund binder is set up and this just makes me so excited and hyped up to keep saving and stuffing these funds. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed what you saw and let me know down below if I should do a binder setup for my black binder. Other than that, have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye everybody.